Hey guys, my name is Bernard and welcome back to the Movie Geek Channel. I'm here to do for a longer rated Blu-ray review. I've been up hold on the Blu-ray reviews. It's the summer, I'm trying to focus on the other videos instead of doing the Blu-ray reviews because Blu-ray reviews, it take time. You gotta rewatch the movie, watch all the special features and thought of and what to think of the, of the special features and the Blu-ray and audio quality of the film. So what is perfect time is to talk about Blu-ray review, yeah, to, to bring back Blu-ray review it's the perfect movie for me to talk about this on Blue Review. That is, this is the 50th Marvel Studio film, and you know what I'm talking about by the title is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is one of my most anticipated Blu ray release. Uh, I've been wanting to rewatch this movie since I saw it twice in theaters, and I want to buy this so I can complete my Marvel Cinematic Universe on Blu ray up to date. So far, Next one will be Spider-Man Homecoming and it will be up to date as thus far. Before, I want to talk about my thoughts before I'm going to all the Blu-ray reviews. Um, I want to rewatch this movie to see my grades and my overall thoughts. I want to rewatch this movie to see my opinion is still the same. And it is. I still love this movie. Yes, I noticed that this is not as good as the first movie. This is amazing movie. Very different, original, very obscure Marvel property that nobody knows but I will say um, the visual effects the acting the directors must improved from the first movie they're bringing the A game from the, make, making the, um, the second volume but I will say the soundtrack is not as memorable as the first movie the first movie the soundtrack alone is memorable you can remember all the soundtrack in here uh, there's a couple music that I know of um, but there's a couple of music that's very new to me that's very a good song but not as memorable as the first movie. And also they balance very well with bringing the new characters and and the same from the old characters as we love. And also bringing an awesome actor Kurt Russell which is a bonus plus on this movie. And it's very well directed it had a lot of fun, mo fun moments, very exciting action scenes, a lot of good emotional scenes. Um, and Baby Good, you gotta talk about Baby Good. Baby Good was adorable on this movie, you gotta admit that. Um, I had the Funko Pop, it's right there. And it's the most cutest thing in the world for this movie. And he shined the movie. And I will say that all the character development in this movie was improved from John Doe, Nebula, and bringing the new characters from Mantis and Eagle, the living planet. As for um, giving new improvement from the old character that we love, to actually get much more screen time in this movie, which is uh, which is awesome and also good, and Rocket get more screen time um, with the banter of, of Star Lord and Rocket Raccoon, which is at another level to this movie and this storyline. And I'm very excited to see Guardians Galaxy in the big screen next to the Avenger that's coming out next summer on May the fourth, which we know is gonna be a huge deal. And I'll say the visual effects is top notch, especially the third act in the, in the movie. The visual effect is spectacle, it's very big and, and grand, it just looks incredible. My favorite moments in the movie is the father and son relationship with Kurt Russell and Chris Pratt in this movie. The performance in there is really really good and it's just you can say you can see that we care about Chris Pratt, that finally he had a father but there's a twist going on with his ego. And I love the new character of this movie, I love Mantis and we can introduce um, the perfect human beings, Aisha and her colony. If you know the comic books, if you know her brother is, if you know who that is, good job. I will say it's worth it. It's very, it's a very, very good movie. Great movie. I love this movie so much. It gave me. There's a lot of cool moments in this movie. Very fun, funny moments, and a very emotional moments in this movie that actually got teared up at the end of the movie. And it's basically the topic of this movie, the theme of this movie is about father and son relationship going on in this movie. That's the whole theme of this movie, that's what the whole history and mystery going on in, in the first movie. Who is Peter Peter Quill heritage? Overall in this movie, my opinion still the same stay the same. Not as good as the first movie, but it's really, still a really good movie. And I love this movie so much, so I had a lot of fun. It's worth picking up if you have not seen the movie. And I'm so happy to add that to my MCU collection up to date thus far. Moving along from my thoughts on this movie, let's talk about the, the blue way itself. What did I think of the special features and the picture and all the quality? First of all, the picture and all the quality. The picture and all the quality is fantastic. 
It looks so detailed, looks beautiful, but taking this imagery going on in this movie that looks beautiful and the audio quality is loud and clear. And you can hear the music background on it. It's fantastic. Love the picture, audio quality it looks pristine. It looks clear, it looks beautiful. Look at a 10 time detail, that's all in detail. So I gave it a blue, I gave it a picture and audio quality, a 10 out of 10. And let's talk about, there's so many editions you can get from this movie. There's a, t I'm gonna show, there's a Target exclusive with a bonus content. There's the Walmart exclusive with the, with the different cover. There's the Best Buy still book. And this is 4K Ultra HD edition. Notice the difference from 4K and the regular release is the 4K is called the Cinematic Universe edition. That includes the free poster which looks like this. To be honest, I don't need 4K. I'm not 4K. I'm not into 4K. They're much expensive from the regular blue. I'm happy with it because I love this cover. It had all the reds, all the yellow, all the oranges, and the light blue, and a little bit purple. And it's very embossed, just like the 4K zip cover embossed. And even though the 4K looks cool, but I don't like the purple. I like the color of the purple. Now we go on the specific. There's a ton of special. I did see most of the specifics. Mostly I have not seen the deleted scenes and heard the auto commentary. The rest I have seen. So. Got it in front of the music video, which is an awesome music video. You can check out free online on the Marvel Studios page on on YouTube page. We have hilarious DD scenes which I have not seen yet. We have a widget gag wheel. This is the one I'm most excited to see. Um, I love gag wheels, especially every Marvel Cinematic Universe have its own gag wheels, and they're so much fun to watch. Seeing actors play around and director play around while the, while they're making the movie, and it's a fantastic gag wheel. I have a lot of fun watching that. It's three minutes or I see it's five or four or three minutes right there. Really good at gag wheel. We have bonus round, the making of Garden Classic Volume 2. This is a four part behind the scenes making of this movie. And I love that. I love and if you know me, I love anything to do with making up behind the scenes of the making of the movie. A documentary. Um this is four part they're around ten or eight minutes. Um Fantastic talk about the visual effect. They, they talk about bringing the actors, the, their A game, the director. They talk about how he had fun um, making this movie, and they talk, they talk about the music, what music choice they they want, why they chose this music for this movie, and it's a lot of fun. I love the documentary. And last lastly but not least is the audio commentary. I'm gonna hear and heard just. If I have time, because it feels like we watching another movie, but with an auto commentary. So I'm gonna have fun watching here and there because I love auto commentary and what the director is saying, um, how this, why they showed the scene, how they making of the scene, and talk about you know analysis and all that is fantastic. Before we go on a closer look, I have the soundtrack of this movie. It's obviously, the Oxen Mix Volume Two. There's a lot of good songs in here, including my favorite Fox on the One, which is not in the film. But it shows in the it was heard on the trailers by a little song in there. I wish that was kept in in the movie, but really good. And one of the best music on this album is Guardians Inferno by performed by Sneepers between David Hasselhoff, which is fantastic. If you seen the music video, that music video was so many so much fun. Seventies, you know, inspires uh, music video and it's fantastic. I love the soundtrack and the album album. But not as good as the first album, which is Oxen Mix Volume 1. Now we go on the closer look of Garden Galaxy Volume 2. Now here's the closer look of Garden Galaxy Volume 2. Blu-ray and DVD digital copy. Here the subcover, the a very nice holographic subcover with and a very the boss title and a characters as well. As well on the back is very holographic. The spine looks very nice on the shelf next to the, the rest of the MCU zip covers. Sadly, it is the same cover as just like this zip cover, as well on the back. And of course, it always comes with a digital copy and Disney Movie Rewards. And here's my ticket studs of the Thursday showing and the Saturday showing. Here's the DVD disc, just plain as white. And the Blu-ray disc, the color blue. That is the closer look of Garden Classy Volume 2. Okay, that's all for the closer look of the Garden Classic Volume 2. I hope you enjoyed the video and come below with the thing of this movie. Come below with the what which edition did you got? Target exclusive, Walmart exclusive, Best Buy exclusive, or the 4K edition, or you got the DVD or the regular edition. Come below and come below with the thing of this movie. If you still loved it or or this your opinion change. 
by rewatching this movie. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. There's a lot of more content going on in this channel. And I'll see you guys on our next Blue Review.